It's been over 26 years since Ralph Holtzroth started planting his first no-till wheat and soybeans. Well, yeah, residue is definitely your friend. So residue is your friend, yes. not your enemy. Okay. That's right. So there's your residue is your friend thing again. It sounds like he and Dwayne Beck have been talking. Yeah. So why would an experienced hand like Ralph consider residue a friend rather than a challenge? When you plant in the spring, you're going to see the neighbor that had no residue. His corn will come up quicker. It'll get bigger quicker. And you're going to say, oh, maybe I didn't make a mistake. But then it comes June, late June, July, and August. And then you're starting to see the benefits of that residue. It isn't an immediate effect, but it, you know, it's just a gradual where it keeps going and where the drier, hotter soils will start slowing down. So, yeah, it, it's, you kind of got to quit looking at it at times because, well, I'm way behind, I'm way behind. But, you know, that residue does protect that soil from the heat, keeps the water from running away as fast. So, Barrett, what's your take home from Ralph's experience? Hmm. You don't harvest your corn in June. And so yeah, it's it's a really a good thing. And it in the long term, you're gonna build organic matter. Uh, I mean I seen a study out Dwayne Beck gave it to me, um, anyhow it showed that how much more water can be held in the soil with a higher organic matter. And it, it's a phenomenal number. And who wouldn't want more soil organic matter in their fields, right? Right, but what about residue buildup and long-term no-till? And so, yeah, keeping getting that organic matter up, and the only way to do that is by putting the residue on the ground. You know, you got to leave it there, not try to break it down too fast, because you know Mother Nature does it quick enough as it is. Yeah, you'll think one year you'll have too much residue, and then all of a sudden, a couple of hot, dry days or weeks or years, you know, and boom. All of a sudden the residue is gone, it's broke down naturally. Okay, so it sounds like Ralph also considers residue a friend and not an enemy, right? Yes, but that's central South Dakota. What about East River? Good point. Our next videos will come from Crooks and Vermilion, very much East River, and we'll see you soon.